Well, I'm delighted to say now we can welcome into our studio one of our top British juniors, Katie Swan. Congratulations. You had a great win today. You're into the quarterfinals of the girls' singles. And, of course, you reached the finals of the Australian juniors as well, Katie. So just tell us, how are you enjoying the tournament so far? It's been amazing. I love playing at home at, and with the uh, British crowd behind me. And it's been, it's been a great experience so far, and I hope I can keep going. Yeah. Now, of course, you were just over here on Court 18. Yeah. Was that the first time you've been on Court 80? Yes, it was amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a pretty lucky match point, I think. It was a lucky match point? No. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, well. Now, when everybody watches you, Katie, um, everybody talks about your serve being the major weapon in your game. Is that your favourite shot? Is that what Yeah, definitely. I, I get a lot of free points off of my first serve, and it's improved a lot over the last year. And uh, today it wasn't so good, but still I got some free points. And yeah. But you also have a very effective second serve as well. It's one of the bigger second serves that we've seen in, in girls' tennis. So uh, who taught you the second serve? Um, I guess just my coaches. I've just been working on it. Oh, they nearly they forced <laughs> you back on to give the old Serena Williams sort of twirl and wave, but you have to practice that one. Yeah, Katie. I know, I haven't done that before, so yeah, that was yeah, my first time. It looked time. like you hadn't done it before. It was very yeah. cool. Well spotted, Maz. <laughs> I saw that before there, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, obviously, your first time, as you say, being out on a big show court here, it's a very famous court, Court 18, but when you were growing up, just tell us your earliest memories of watching Wimbledon and who was your inspiration growing up? Who did you want to, to um, be like? I always loved watching Sharapova. I loved her attitude and the way she the way she hits the ball and how she always fights, and that's what I, I want to be doing, and I think I'm doing that pretty well now, and it's amazing just to be here, having seen the pros always being there like when I was little, and. Now I'm here playing too, so it's amazing. Do you think that, that, that Sharapova is the one that most girls look up to? I guess she's, I'm sure uh, there's so many girls who, who love her, but yeah, yeah. there's also other, a lot of other players too. But yeah, I think Maria Sharapova is a great role model to right. have. Yeah. Now, it, now, of course, it hasn't gone unnoticed that you have an American accent. Uh, uh, so you're going to have to tell us why you've got an American accent. Yes. I know you're living in the States. So how long have you been over there? And um, you're living in Kansas, aren't you? Yeah, living in Kansas. We moved two and a half years ago with my family for my dad's job. Uh, I tried to keep my British accent as long as possible, but yeah. I guess being surrounded by Americans all the time is not easy. Yeah. <laughs> but has it been a good move as, as far as your tennis is concerned? Yeah, it's been really good. I have a great team out there, and it's been really good for my tennis and for my family, too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because yeah. Wichita, that, you don't think of Wichita, but <laughs> I think Wichita is a great university. Yeah, Wichita State, yeah. It's a good university yeah, team Yeah, it's very well. good. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. do you think that you've learnt more by going over to the States than you would have done if you'd stayed here in Britain? Is the competition higher and is the um, training different, do you think? I'm not really sure of what, what I would be doing now if I stayed in England, but for sure being in America has had a positive impact on my tennis and um, having the great coaches that I have too. Uh, it's been great. And the weather is, is pretty good out there too, so I can practice outside most of the year. Yeah, of course, nice. yes, because of course if it gets very hot over there, you can prepare yourself for tournaments over there. Do you mm. tend to play more tournaments in the States? Uh, n not particularly, oh. just I just travel all over the world, so it's nowhere in particular. <laughs> yeah, what's the best bit about being a, a, a tennis player? Um, I mean, Everyone wants to win, so I guess when you win, it's the best feeling you, you can get. But I love traveling and I love meeting new people, and I love the competitiveness of playing the game. Yeah, so what goals have you set yourself for this year? Um, well, I, my goal is to win a junior slam, um, and that would be amazing if I could do that. But I just want to keep improving my game really and, and try and yeah. go as what, far as I can. What did you learn in Australian Open? Because you, I, I believe, you made a really good come back in the finals. In the semi-finals, In the yeah. semi-finals, yeah. and you got to the finals. What, what did you take away from that? It was an amazing experience, and getting to play on Rod Laver too. Uh, not many people get to do that at my age, so it was amazing, and I'm really grateful I got to do it. Uh, I think it definitely helped my confidence, like getting that far in the tournament, and uh, showed me that I can compete at the, the highest level, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. And playing on the big court, how does that because I remember, yeah, I'm sure you in the beginning, exciting, really exciting yes. to play on a yes. big court. Yeah, yeah. You think it's yeah. nerve-wracking, but not for you at all. Uh, it was quite nerve-wracking when I first went on because it's so big, it's so much bigger than anything I've been used to before. And yeah. also the fact that we played in the morning, the junior girls, and then Sharapova and Williams played <laughs> the final in the afternoon, which was amazing because I got to watch that too. Um, it was kind of surreal sitting there watching the women's final thinking that I'd played on that court in the morning. but. Um, 
like, it was a really good experience to have. Yeah, now I know you've yes. been very focused on your junior tournament, obviously, here, but have you been keeping an eye on the seniors as well? What do you make of the semi final line? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, is it Serena and Sharapova play yes. each other? That's going to be an amazing match. And, uh, yeah, who's going to come yeah. through that one? Give us your thoughts on either player. What do you, what do you like about both of those players? Um, well, Sharapova, I already said I, I love the way she fights and how she's really focused before every point and how she's aggressive. And Serena, I mean, she's the best in the world. And I mean, when she's on, there's not much you can do to, to beat her. So I think it's going to be a great match and maybe Sharapova can, can win. Yeah. Uh, but. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, and what about the other semi-final, Garbin Muguruza, who uh, has come through from the juniors and made a very quick transition into the senior game. And then, of course, she's up against a very experienced player, Agnieszka yeah. Radvanska. So what about that matchup? What, have you had a chance to watch both of them um, play? I haven't really seen Muguruza play that much, but uh, I really like Radvanska. I think she, she's really smart when she plays, and I, I'm not sure who's going to win that, but it will be another good match. Yeah. Very good, very good. I'm interested in what surfaces do you practice on? Is it always, always hard courts? Hard court, yeah. It's always hard court. Yeah. So are you, are you aware that in America that they're talking about why they don't have any players and they're not playing enough on clay courts? Have you heard that? Uh, I've about? not heard that, but it's definitely On the men's some, side, definitely, yeah. that's what they're trying to do. I've talked about that with my coaches a lot, trying to get some more practice on red clay, so I'm more ready for the, for the French Open. But... Um, when you pick yeah. tournaments, do you pick them because of surface or do you pick them because of the size of, yeah. the, of the size of the tournament? Um, I'm not really, I don't really make my schedule, okay. but I, I talk to my coaches about it and it's just a team decision on what I'm doing. It's not based on the surface or anything. Right, and you yeah. are homeschooled? I'm doing online school. Online yeah. school, okay. Okay, last never question. Be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's we, discipline. No, that is very true. Because playing tennis yeah, is one important. thing. Yeah, yeah, this I don't know how. When do you do it? In the morning? Lunchtime? No, I well, I'm supposed to do it. Like, supposed to supposed do it. We like that word. Supposed to do it whenever I have free time, but during tournaments I find it really difficult to to focus on it. But um, right. I'm not yeah, I'm, I should be doing like a few hours a day. Yeah. Well, Andy Murray the other day was saying how one of the biggest regrets he's had is that he hasn't learned a language out there yeah. because, of course, he watches all these other players around him that do interviews Bilingual, in about four yeah. or five different <laughs> languages. So, do you speak a language? No. American I'm and learning, English. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning Spanish, but I'm not so good. Uh, yeah. Oh. I can't really. Well, talk. you can have yeah. something to work on. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Before we let you go, just yeah. give us a prediction for the women. Uh, I think I'm going to have to say Serena. Okay. And the yeah. men's? Andy, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> very good pick. Well, thank nice. you so Thanks. much for coming to visit us. Uh, thank yeah. you very and, uh, much. We really wish you the best of luck in the next one. Thanks a lot. Great Thanks. stuff. Thank you very much. Okay.